you visited the home of your inspiration, Graceland. Yeah, well, you know, the first guy that got me into music was Elvis Presley. I remember as a little kid watching him on TV and just thinking, that guy's cool. I want to be like that guy. In fact, he was the inspiration for me to play guitar, which is odd. He didn't make me want to sing necessarily, but he made me want to play guitar. Because those old, you know, old images of Elvis, he always had an acoustic guitar on him. But anyways, I had been to Graceland once before when I went was when I went down for my first album when I was writing and searching out studios, and I believe I was with a couple of people, and I believe one of them was actually Jody Stevens, who's the uh, used to be the drummer in a band called Big Star with Alex Chilton, but that's a whole other story. But uh, we were kind of given a bit of a private tour because you know these guys um, run Ardent Studios, uh, recording studios in Memphis, and they bring a lot of clients there, so. One of the security guards was actually one of uh, Elvis's cousins, this kind of older fella, and um, so the first the first time I was there it was right around Christmas. So it was just it was it was just wild, you know, because you know you go through Elvis's house with his cousin, and at that time Elvis still had an auntie who lived upstairs. So you weren't allowed upstairs back then, because I guess Elvis had told her she could live there as long as she wanted. So even though Elvis had passed away, she was still up there, and you could hear her little dog barking up there. But you know, it was this real kind of religious experience, and then you. When we got outside, they had this whole nativity scene on the uh, on the front lawn of Graceland. It was crazy. But anyways, uh, the wife and I went there, and, and it was really fun. And you know, to see the jungle room and go on Elvis's planes and everything. And it, it's cool, man. And I I hate it when people mock Graceland because I, I you know I would like to see anyone's house circa nineteen seventy four seventy five. And uh, what the decor might have been like, you know, because this is a place frozen in time. When did Elvis die? 76 or something? Uh, 77, maybe. You know, so at the time, it was he had the best stuff you could get. And yeah, maybe it looks gaudy or something now. But anyways, I dug it, man. 